It's day five of the BT Red Nose Day Challenge and the morning started with a brisk walk down what the locals call the Stairs of Doom. I have been uh, slightly tense from number 10 to number 15. At number 10, that everybody said, oh, it's fine, it's just a little bit of, a little bit of dodgy water. <laughs> Considering we were told that our boats probably wouldn't turn over, especially not at the first one, uh, it's really knocked me. <laughs> so if I'm feeling like that and I'm in really capable hands, uh, with a boat that's not meant to turn over. I can't imagine how they are feeling on a boat that can quite easily flip. There were moments, there were times when we went down and some of them like Terminator or Oblivion or whatever the hell they call it. The washing machine, where, where you go down uh, and the water is higher than you are and then blots out the sun and then you come back up again. It's really scary as we approach each rapid and I'm really surprised we've all stayed in. We, we haven't lost anyone yet. So they finally finished. Not just today's challenge of the rapids, but the whole thing. The 111 kilometre journey over five gruelling days of hell and high water. One of the amazing things about this trip is we didn't, none of us really knew each other that well before we Kevin said some of us never really met before. And uh, by the end of it, we saw what we were like at the end on those rapids. We, we were a team, wasn't it? We were amazing. Yeah. Yay! I, I really seriously did not think I was going to do that, uh, the final challenge, because I, I realised on Tuesday how serious and how dangerous the whole thing is. Phillips was really, really quiet at the beginning. He's just been amazing because he can't swim very well. He has a huge fear of water. He, of water. he did brilliantly. And at one point, he actually got in the water just to sort of feel what it would be like. And, and that's all to do with trusting Sven and us. And it was just brilliant. To actually get on that boat and stay on that boat, um, I've, I've conquered my fears. And I think I took inspiration from the young girls that we met on, on the Wednesday. Um, they, they, they really got to you, didn't they? They, they did, and it's just made, it made me definitely made me feel that I really shouldn't complain about anything, and regardless of how difficult things may be, there's always people who have got it a lot worse. And but yeah, I, I conquered my fears, and if I can do that to try and help the um, the young girls in in Zambia, then it shows how important the the the, the, the cause is and how, how how desperate their plight is.